Hey guys, today we're going to be doing my updated Animal Crossing New Horizons 3 star island tour. So before I did make an island tour, um, 3 star island tour video, but it wasn't really that much because I didn't really do anything to it and I just had gotten my 3 star ability. So I'm going to be doing my 3 star island tour and now join me. So first we have my main residential area. I have KK seeing to only three people now. I think the rest of them are sleeping. This is Melba, this is Rocket, and this is Dom. Let's see what KK is in the mood for. Okay, so I'm just gonna give him a request. Uh, let's see what this is about. Um, the only song I know off the top of my head is Bubblegum. So, honestly, I have no idea. Um, what, actually, let's do this song. Wait, let's do this song, KK Disco. Well, I guess that's not it, but okay. So I have these two benches in the main area, right in front. And to the side, I have this little work area. This is kind of a little work in progress. I mean, there's just a rock in the smack down center of it. And I don't really like that, so I'm gonna have to break it sooner or later. And I have like a toolbox, I have a customization kit. And I have a tool bench. Right here I just have a sewer line. Even though it's supposed to be on roads. And right here I have my three main buildings. The museum, the Able Sisters, and Nook's Cranny. I'm planning on moving all these buildings to a higher elevation. Looking at other um, Animal Crossing Island tours. But I don't... I don't really know why I placed these straight. It's just a huge mistake I made. And moving on, if you go to the front, you can see that I have a nice sandy beach here with one surfboard, that lonely old surfboard. And if we move to the side, the beach ends, and we have another coconut tree here, and some random stuff that I have no spot for. And now when we move to the back, this is Nan's house. And this is a house that um, that no one had, someone moved out of. I think it was Annalisa. Let me just check my map. Yeah, so Annalisa moved out without me knowing, which was kind of sad. Well, I, I was meaning to kick her out of my island anyways, so. And I have a hell to I mean, a telescope and a lighthouse here. I'm going to have to move those items. And what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to demolish my entire island. I'm going to remake it. And these are all the houses that I've moved. Hello, coach. Let's see, is this even your house? Is this your house? Please tell me this is your house. Okay, yeah, this is your house. I was like, why are you sitting here? So I moved all of these houses in a nice order here. This is Buck's house. I just moved him today. And this spot right here really gets me mad because it literally took off all of my um all of my stone path here. But I just moved all my houses in one order and yeah, and this is my house. I'll be doing a separate house home tour for this. Um, I'll do that for a whole new video. And this is my brother's house right here. And right here I just have a bunch of stuff laid out. I have all these flowers here because um, I had to move them to make these houses. And also you can see my inventory is also full of flowers because I had to move Buck's house. That's why my entire old in inventory is completely empty. 
I have two houses here. This is Rocket's house. He somehow escaped my trap to like kick him out. And so did Coach, but this is also Dom's house, but like I don't know how they escaped. I just wanted them to get out, but seems like they really didn't want to leave my island, so. And I also have my campsite here, and I have a weird little area right here for like, like sit down area and like campfire or something like that. And right here I have all my orchard trees. I have only pears, oranges, and cherries. I've been meaning to get more by visiting other islands, but honestly, I'm really not in the mood to visit new islands, like random islands, and just to collect all the materials because I don't have really anything done. And you can also start to see that it's because it's turning fall, that all of like, the leaves of the trees are starting to change. I have more coconut trees here. Um, most of them got chopped down because I really needed wood. And every Animal Crossing island has a dock. This is just where mine is. It's like all the way on the side. And it's really weird because it's in a corner and it's not really in the middle of something. And here is Mrs. Flamingo. I'm meaning to get a Mr. Flamingo for her, but seems like I can't find one. Right here I just have a bunch of weeds. I've been meaning to pick them up, but seems like I'm too lazy to. I have more beach here. Ooh, message bottle. Okay. And I have a uh, platinum rock here. But other than that, the entire beach area is all set. Oh my goodness, that hermit crab is just wandering around. Okay, so now we are climbing up this incline, and you can see I have just a bunch of random flowers and weeds and everything like that. And a lot of flowers because I needed flowers, and Isabel kept on telling me to plant flowers to make myself a three-star island, which is really annoying, and she keeps on saying, plant more flowers. And so when we go up here, you can see that I have my gym right here. And this gym is not really complete. I don't really like how it's shaped because it's just a full rectangle. And you can't really see anything. I mean, there's not space any for anything here. It's just a rock wall, a climbing wall, a, climbing wall, a pull up bar stand, a playground gym. Even though this is not really a playground, I don't really like this. Two rincons and a mountain bike. Right here, um, I put stone here so I can line out my iron fence that I'm going to put. But I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. I have bought a special incline, a stone incline for this. But seems like I still have to find a spot for it. Other than that, no. So when I go here, I just finished this area today. Um... I'm still going to add inclines here. Uh, comment down below what type of inclines I should put, like a stone incline or a wooden incline. Those are your two choices. And this is technically just like my outdoor stand ice cream place. This is also where Red comes to visit when he's selling his fake old paintings and stuff like that. I haven't really bought a painting from Red yet. And... A sad part about red is I accidentally, using the red guide, I didn't look at it properly and I accidentally bought a fake painting from him. And then I found out that Nook's Cranny wouldn't buy fake paintings so I'm stuck with a fake painting. And all you can do is just trash it. So I'll be linking down below in the description the red guide and hopefully you guys can use it and not make the same mistake as me. So right here you have the entire like chairs. I painted this an oak color. I have a cotton candy thing. I have two lamps here, ice cream lamps. There's one strawberry and one chocolate. I'm trying to find something to put on top of this stall here because it's really empty. And comment down below what I should put down. So right here I just have a bunch of random trees that I placed because my entire inventory was full of trees. And I didn't really like that, so I'm going to have to move my tree some, somewhere else. 
So this is one of my favorite parts. This is my outdoor kitchen area. I need some rotten table for this because rotten chairs and a dining table is not a good idea. So first I had this campfire thing and then it was so lonely because like I wanted it to be an outdoor kitchen. So I just added a fence and put all together like eating things. Like down here I have serving carts. I have a brick oven, a barbecue, a water cooler, snack vending machine, and a smoker. I need to get a drink machine. Other than that, this is like basically all set. And on the other side, I have a garbage bin. I just need a trash can right here next to it. And I have my menu chalkboard. And I'm also going to plan on um, destroying these inclines and making them a wooden incline. Yep. What I'm doing, what I did to my island, is a total waste of money because each of these inclines that I put in are $98,000 and I had to move all of my houses, which are $50,000 each. Actually, they're in Bell's currency, so yeah. And I had to move my museum literally twice, and now I'm going to move it again, which kind of sucks. So right here I have my rocks. I put fencing behind them so I wouldn't miss um, any materials. And right here I also have other trees here. And these trees are also starting to change colors. But um, I really also had too many trees in my inventory so I just placed them here. And up here I do have a mini carnival. All I have is this teacup ride and a pinball machine. Yes, this is a very, very boring carnival. And honestly, I just need to find something to do here. I mean, with just a pinball machine and a teacup ride, this is no carnival. And also, I have no spots for, like, inclines and anything. And this entire place is just completely messed up. So, I can't find... Okay. I can't get down from that area for some reason. And I just have a bunch of flowers everywhere. Which is kind of weird. How they all keep on placing everywhere and stuff like that. And there's also one spot that I didn't show you yet. Not really a big spot. But this is just a heart leak. It was like this when I originally got here. This is the weirdest lake I've ever seen spawn on an island. It's just a complete heart, and I did. I promise you guys, I did not do anything to do this to make it feel like a heart. Yeah. Oh, and this is where Buck's house. Um, this is where someone else's house used to be, and this garden gnome is still here. I think I need to pick that up. And this is Buck's house. I probably should also pick up that garden gnome. And this house is going out of this spot forever so that is my complete island tour and it's a really boring thing because I haven't finished everything and I have to like pick up move all my flowers pick up weeds and do all that other stuff and I have to pick up all of these stuff on the ground Isabel keeps on telling me that I need to pick up all the stuff on the ground that I have lying down on the island which is also really annoying because I can't do anything because I can't put some stuff in my inventory and stuff like that but other than that my three star island tour is all done so thank you guys for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to hit that subscribe button hit that like button and hit post notifications so you guys won't miss it